my name is Erica and today I'm going to be giving you a quick little life update. Okay, so the last time I really did like a life update was when I, I think in November? Yeah, I think so. I was just telling you that I moved and got my own studio. And my studio has been coming along slowly but surely. I am loving it. Like, living alone is so nice because I can just get home and do whatever the heck I want. It's just the best feeling. And I will maybe possibly do like a little tour. It's only a couple of rooms, so I can't really do like a, I'm not going to do like a full tour. But I do really want to show how much it's come along. I knew I wanted to get, I needed to get like furniture and stuff, but I was putting it off and putting it off because I wanted to save money and everything. But honestly, like I wanted my space to start coming together because who knows how long I'll be living here, hopefully a long time. I decided one day, I'm like, you know what? Each like every couple paychecks, I'm gonna finally get a piece of furniture so I can put that together just so I can have like a nice livable space and feel really cozy and everything. And let me tell you, it is so worth it. So the first thing I ended up buying so I have like a mattress and stuff and like a table and whatnot, but the first thing I bought for myself was a dresser and it was terrible putting together, let me tell you. It took me nine hours. Nine hours. Nine hours. To build this thing and it's worth it, totally worth it. Maybe I'll put a photo in here. Man, it took a long time and there was this moment when like I had it on its like on the front of it like down on the ground and I was trying to nail it in the back and it wasn't going in for some reason I picked it up and realized I put the bottom one backwards <sighs> y'all I had to take the feet off undo everything and put that back on that was like an extra half hour hour in itself I cried probably like seven times <laughs> trying to put this thing together but it's done it looks great it fits in my closet perfectly and then the next thing I got what was the next thing I got I guess my TV stand yeah that I was like, you know what, everything is coming together almost as perfect as I had imagined it because I've been like measuring and making sure everything's going to fit and it just is starting to look so good. So I got a TV stand and then it took me like another week and I got a TV and y'all, like when I show you pictures, I am just so content with it. I did not think having a TV, like my own TV, could add so much comfort to my studio and it has done wonders. Literally half the time I have the TV on just to play like ambiance, like from Skyrim or like Lord of the Rings. Just to have something in the background is so nice and so cozy. And I like set up my little fairy lights and it's just so cute. I'm so happy with it. My movie nights are a million times better than they were with my laptop. And my heart is just so full. My sister just sent me my PlayStation 4, so I'm going to be getting that very soon. And I can't wait to play video games again. Currently, I've been playing Breath of the Wild, as well as Animal Crossing. And I need to play some more Pokemon, but I'm very excited to get my PlayStation. I have not had my PlayStation with me in years. My consoles have always stayed at home, and to finally have it here with me is going to be, like, amazing. I'm scared that I'm not going to play as many video games like I say I'm going to. But the new Mass Effect is coming out, well, the Legendary Edition, so I'm determined to make time. If my reading is slow, it's because I'm playing Mass Effect. I'm just so excited, everybody. Like, so excited. So basically, that's one big thing. I've been putting a lot of furniture together, getting my studio in shape. That is, like, one big part of my life that is going very well. I'm so happy here, and I'm just, it's so nice. It's such a cozy little environment now. It just makes my heart so much happier when I get home from a long day at work and I can just relax and enjoy my life. <laughs> okay, so next part of my life update is basically how acting is going. So, I've always wanted to kind of talk about how I've been staying motivated during quarantine. I did sort of make a video in the past during the first lockdown, but I feel like this past time I've been a lot better about it. So what helped me kind of like stay motivated over a lockdown and everything was that I make a to-do list every day. Maybe not on the days that I have work because honestly there's only so much I can do when I get home at like 6 o'clock at night. But on my days off I always make a to-do list even if it's like do laundry, work out on your sides, film a video. Like I'm always making a to-do list and I find that it helps so much and it feels so good crossing things off. I'm also that person who will like accomplish something that I didn't put on my to-do list, put it on the to-do list and just check it off just because I wanted to <laughs> and it makes me feel better. So that is something I definitely recommend you do if you're looking for motivation during lockdown or during this pandemic. Making a to-do list honestly feels so good when you accomplish everything. I write everything down for the most part that I want to do and yeah, so it's like, 
it's just a little thing, but it makes me feel so good at the end of the day when I treat myself to a movie night and I see that I accomplished everything that I needed to for that day. That's like the main thing that's keeping me motivated. Honestly, watching movies has been motivating me a lot and like just watching my favorite actors all the time. I think watching things that you want to be in is very good for keeping you motivated as an actor. Reading a lot has definitely helped and just honestly being unhappy at work has kind of helped because like outside of work I'm trying to like be happy and achieve my dreams because I think when you're not happy in one part of your life it motivates you to make sure that that other part of your life feels more fulfilled and I try to live every day to fulfillment if that makes sense I try to make sure I feel content at the end of the day with everything that I did some days are harder than others of course you're gonna have days where you don't feel like really doing that much and you feel kind of bad about it but you need those days rest days are so important and I've learned that definitely I have a hard time taking like a day just to chill like yesterday I was off and I accomplished everything I wanted to and I let myself play video games with my friends and watch a movie and I feel bad when I have to like give myself that time to not feel guilty. Like playing video games is something I feel really guilty about doing which is sad because it's like something I really enjoy but if I'm not like reading or writing or something or filming or working on auditions and stuff I feel really sad about it. You kind of have to find a balance but I always find fulfillment in like every single day even if it's just doing some laundry or finishing a workout or even like Yesterday I bought a waffle maker and I made waffles today with my little mini waffle maker and that made me happy So honestly just making sure you're making time for everything you enjoy while also finding time to accomplish what you want to accomplish But not being too hard on yourself if you don't that's like a big thing That's really kept me motivated during this lockdown and during this pandemic That's just a nice little side note on how to stay motivated if things are kind of feeling difficult Especially with everything going on right now. So we aren't in lockdown anymore. I've been working every week since like January So that's nothing new but when we were on lockdown from like November and December I really wanted to stay motivated so I was actually at home for that second part of like our quarantine that's when I went home to see my family and it's the holidays and everything and you know I didn't really work a lot on like my acting stuff I wasn't really in the mindset for it I don't think because I wanted to spend time with my family of course and it was like vacation sort of <laughs> not really but you know and then when I got back I started taking an acting class immediately I took on camera too and it was the best class I can't even describe how happy it made me like literally I have always struggled with acting classes just because I'm very hard on myself like every actor is and any artist we're all really hard on ourselves but mostly because I've only really had a couple good acting teachers who have made me feel comfortable in class I always get so scared I put so much pressure on myself and I just never feel like I live up to my potential but this class was completely opposite like I felt so confident most of the time most of the time I felt pretty confident I worked my butt off and like the first like half of January I wasn't working so I really put so much time into that class and it was only once a week but literally it was the best day every week to have that class like it made me so happy it's crazy though because every time before class started I was like a nervous wreck like nervous I was always so scared but I loved my teacher so much my classmates were great it was a perfectly small class so we always accomplished a lot and I always felt so happy it's so funny because in the past when class size was small I'd be super intimidated because I get a lot more focused and that always freaked me out because I was just so scared all the time I had a really bad acting experience like in college so that's why it's kind of trickled with me throughout the years but this class was honestly perfect and I was so sad when it was over but I've continued working really hard my goal for the next year and a half hopefully is to get an agent that is my big goal and I never thought I was ready and never thought I was good enough to have an agent but it's gonna happen I've been working super hard I've been submitting to auditions like crazy and one of my most exciting announcements is that I actually got cast in my first short film in March and that was such a fun experience it was very COVID safe there was only one other person on set with me and it was amazing like it went really well it was really nerve-wracking but it definitely showed me that my hard work is paying off because I mean the director was so impressed with my preparation with my lines because I only had like the turnover was so quick like I auditioned on a Wednesday while I was at work like I had to hurry up and scrounge together a self-tape while I was working a 12-hour shift I pulled it together 
and submitted it and the next day he told me he wanted me in the role. I was freaking out. I was like, oh my gosh, it was going to be filmed that Saturday, which luckily I got off work early so that I could get there and everything and I had it memorized. It was only like nine pages, but still, I mean, to have that memorized and everything, I worked my butt off to make sure I did a good job and I was kind of hard on myself. Like... I'm like, I could have done this better, you know, I think that's just a performer in general. But that was my first short film, and I've been auditioning like crazy. I'm getting a lot of people asking for self-tapes, which is such a good feeling. So my hard work is for sure paying off, and yeah, my everything, like, I've just been working really hard, and I'm very determined, again, to get represented this year. That is, that is my goal. <laughs> Other than that, I've mostly been reading, watching movies, Oscar Sunday is coming up, so I've been catching up on all the Oscar films for the most part. I'm... I've seen a bunch of them thanks to streaming and everything, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I have been working a lot and work has not been the best. I'm having a difficult time with COVID and everything, like being there, but we're making the best of it. I'm trying to stay strong, stay positive because everything outside of work is really well and I'm very happy. So yeah, that is pretty much it. That is my little life update. I want to be vlogging soon, hopefully, so I can give a better life update, maybe a little studio tour. But that is all I have for you today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a nice little thumbs up. If you want to keep following me on this booktube journey, please subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Erica A. Gobble. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you soon with another video. Bye!